The word of God is alive and powerful, sharper than any two-edged sword, piercing even to the dividing asunder of the soul and the spirit and the joints and the marrow. And it is a critic of thoughts and intents of the heart. All scripture is God-breathed and is profitable for doctrine, for reproof, for correction, for instruction in righteousness, that the man of God might be mature, thoroughly furnished unto all good works. Study to show thyself a prudent to God, a workman that needeth not to be ashamed. Rightly dividing the word of truth or accurately handling the word of truth. One more day being renewed to the praise of the glory of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ in the divine energy and in the divine health which He graciously provides for us each and every day as long as we are alive on this earth. His mercies will be renewed because it is not short of the glory of God so that we, the Alekene Ketesos believers of this church age, unique dispensation could truly worship him in spirit and in truth. Apostle Paul, while he was writing, he says, Though I have been put in bonds, the word of the Lord is not in bonds. It has to go to the people where it has to be. Today or tomorrow we will die, or the rapture may happen. And the word of the Lord says for us, Heaven and earth will perish, but not my word. But the word will stand forever and forever. If the rapture, rapture has been delayed and we may die one or the other fine day, whichever manner our Lord seems fit, the word of the Lord will be abiding forever and forever. In particular, era of time, our Lord uses certain witnesses for His truth. In the first century, it was them. In every century, Lord has certain people for Him. In every time, he has many people for him who will not hesitate to be the shepherd of the Lord, who will be a really coveted one for Christ, to understand the scripture of truth and to know what it is in the mystery doctrine of the church age. As Daniel was being told, you are the really beloved one. You are following after your prince who is Michael. And what are the things which has to be? You have really put your heart to know that. Today as well, in this church age of Alec Enicetesus, we are after our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, followed by the people who have been given through Apostle Paul, Peter, John, or anyone the scripture of Bible doctrine. So that no longer we could worship our Lord in the flesh, but we could worship our God in the Spirit, to the Spirit, by the Spirit, from the Spirit. And we could know what a great precious promises our Lord has given for us to partake, which is about to do the greater power the wisdom of Christ is the power of God. The wisdom of Christ is the great ability for us. So that we could tell to the one who is seeking like scandal on, up and down, or the one who is seeking for wisdom could be absolutely perished. Because we will be having the peace of God in us because of the knowledge of Bible doctrine when only we grow up day by day process, day by day inculcation, day by day study. That great wisdom of God has been given to this Alec Enicetesus of church age believers. We, the church age believers, are not for any methods, or for any excuses, or for any reasons. We, the church age believers, are for truth. And for truth alone, we need to reign, we need to do, we need to perform, we need to think, and we need to establish, we need to stabilize. Our Lord establishes, says in First Corinthians, in 2 Corinthians 1, 21 and 22, with the Spirit he has given us an earnest of a deposit. Because of this, Apostle Paul did not stop to pray in Ephesians 1, 15. He did not stop to say in Colossians 1, 16 that all things belong to him, through him, and we have been made by him, for him. That's why anyone who has been born in Christ today is not been born by the will of flesh or by the will of man, but he has been born by the will of God. That's the true reason there. And we have been born by this methodology to teach, to learn, to tell the truth, to execute the truth, to understand the truth. Because we are from Christ, we are of God, and we will be through the Spirit for Him, an eternal glory forever and forever, a greater crown which has been given for us, which we have to show forth to Christ. But many men do not understand the toga varalis of Galatians 3.27. The garment of manhood, 
Many men do not understand the intensified stage of this angelic conflict. Many men cannot even know where are they in this unique dispensation of the church age with the greatest privileges of all time being bestowed upon this sinful mankind with the greater grace of all time. They always want to seek upon the law as it says two truths or true witnesses have been required. But Lord has given three witnesses in heaven and on the earth as well. In 1 John 5, 7 we read it. The Word, the Father and the Spirit. What else witnesses were required to prove? The scripture will be fulfilled as our Lord says. Either they are conditional or unconditional covenants, they are making its place. But when we come to the church, we are no conditional covenants or unconditional covenants. We are of grace and we are being called as I like indicators to be the future wife of Christ our Lord. And how much more pure you and I need to be, dear brother, and think over that. Think over this. We cannot just go for XYZ methods, XYZ reasons, XYZ excuses and say we will do this better, we will do that better. No, no way, no chance at all. We need to be very cautious about these things. We are not called for any XYZ jokes or XYZ methods. Our Lord says even in Ezekiel chapter 14 verses 16, Though this man three be, I am not going to deliver their sons or daughters, but they by themselves will be delivered because they are having that imputed righteousness for them. The fear of God, because they will definitely make it up to be obedient for me. As Ezekiel, as Jeremiah says in chapter 17, verses 15 and 16, when those people proclaim to tell, where is the word of the Lord, let it come to pass. And our Lord, and, and our Jeremiah says to our Lord, telling back, Lord, I was not hesitated to be a pastor. You know very well I was always there for you to be your lips. And what I spoke was always true. If these people now, they are going to come to the points of thorough or sorrows upon me. Lord, you know very well. I fear the day of your great vengeance. Likewise, Daniel could do. He did because he was a man of prepared. He knew the time will come and he set his heart to know the truth. But many of the people today do not understand what is the truth. Neither they have known to look what is the doctrine. It's of a tough time, dear brethren. Though we are in bonds, saith Apostle Paul in 2 Timothy 2.9, the word of the Lord is not in bond. The word of the Lord has its freedom. So that, dear brethren, the life that we live after to know the will of God, it has to be for God to the Spirit, by the Spirit, in the Spirit. That's why we have been told to live in the Spirit. And Lord has endured us with special ability of poeo. And He is the one who is going to do it. Because He is faithful in doing it. But we are not able to understand the simple truths. Neither we are considering these truths. The only reasons are we have failed to look upon the word of the Lord. We have failed to consider upon Bible doctrine. We are not gone for that which is absolutely true and pure. We are not considering for that which is absolutely right. And one fine day we all need to answer the judgment of God. In the school of God, the greatest future which commonly found in the scripture is... Lord trains them up in a private, secret way, and He makes them to be eminent before men afterwards. Today there is no privacy of prayer. Today there is no proper preparation for the word of the Lord in the privacy of their time. If Lord wants to train you up for His battles and for His big, big wars, our Lord trains first privately, secretly. And that is what we can find in the case of Daniel, Paul, everyone, David. Privately, first training them up. Then coming, getting them before the man. And since these men do not have the bona fide spiritual gift of a pastor teacher, they do not know what is the private training of our Lord. When we are being designed by God, God knows how to construct us. God knows how to prepare us. Lord God knows how to train us up. But only one thing is required from us, obedient. As our Lord was also obedient, 
till to the point of suffering in his flesh. He was not hesitating, says Hebrews 5, 5, 8, 9 and 10. Why the obedience so that he could become perfectly mature, abiding to become the man Thano, to be the true follower of what he's been taught and he has been proved for us so that even we, the believers, can be the obedient one to suffer in this flesh, serving God in this flesh. With the Spirit will be a great gain for us. Godliness with contentment is always a great gain. Spiritual life with the ministry of Lord God, the Holy Spirit in this flesh and working out of our Lord's glory is very great gain for us. But we are not able to understand these things. We are not able to consider about these things. As the word of the Lord says for us in Genesis 3.15, Lord shall crush the head of the serpent. That meant to say any thoughts, any things which it can want to do, it will definitely be spoiled out by the word of the Lord because the word of the Lord is such kind of a powerful weapon. Any imagination, any thinking, any perspiration or any conceiving about the point that the Satan should win over us, it will not. That's what we find in Genesis 3.15, the great truth of all time. But we are giving a scope to Satan to win over us. And we are failing in that. And when we come, the, the way of the Lord, how this Satan is going to bite the heel of our Lord, if not crush the heel of our Lord, or bite it, not crush, crush the head, bite the heel. The paths for us to do the Lord's work will be always difficult. Therefore our Lord says, the door which I open no one can shut. When our Lord opens our door to be a bona fide gifted pastor teacher, no one can shut it provided he wants to make a obedience to his word, to his calling, and he has to be there to be faithfully prepared in the secret place, no matter what it comes. That is the school of God, dear brother. That is the method of God in training us up. That is the teaching of God in looking upon us, in considering for us. That is the way how our Lord really looks, really considers, really trains. When he opens the door, no one can shut it. But Satan can bite your heel. That means it can, it, it can cause you not to walk in the paths of Bible doctrine. It can cause you not to give number one priority for the word of the Lord. It can cause you not to take the word of the Lord as number one as you walk. Therefore, the word itself is a light to our feet. The entrance of the word gives us light. Therefore, we need to have that peace, the peace which surpasses all understanding, the way how the Jews used to greet, even when the man who appeared in the form of God greeted Daniel, saying, Peace be to you. Why this peace? Because we have absolute confidence in his word. We have absolute confidence that our Lord has opened our door and no one can shut it out. That's why he trains us up. First training, then into the ministry. Without training, no ministry. And many of the men do not understand the simple principle in the word of the Lord and they are coming to the pulpit, standing in the pulpit without even looking upon that the Son of Man came and the Lord will declare that invisible God through exegiomai, exegesis. And they don't want to look. Neither they want to consider. Neither they want to think. They have each and everything done. Weekly ones of sermon, but no way possible. Once again, to make it a house of prayer, it was required to be, to be having, to cost, to make it a house of prayer, everyday teaching. First, wiping them out, then getting back to the word of the Lord and teaching every day. Today we find the synagogue of Satan. We look upon synagogue of Satan at one end, and furthermore, deep into it, we find Satan's throne copulating to produce false pastor teachers in our pulpits. And this is what we are finding today. Satan always wants to bite your heel, the paths. Not to make number one priority for doctrine. Not to give number one priority for the word of the Lord. Not to take number one priority so that your paths should be absolutely straight. And it causes you to give, going around, into that which is vague, false, miracles, healings and tongues. It is the word, the word, the word alone. Always giving us the strength and the ability to preach. 
It is His word alone. Even we can find who have been given white raiment of clothes in Revelation 6, 11, to wait till the other bond servants together of you can come to fulfill the number which I have designated. It is for the word of his testimony. It is for the truth of his word we are being called to be a witnesses. And if you are not able to understand these things, Lord, help you at the judgment seat of Christ for holding you back, not to give number one priority, for holding you back, not to walk in the paths of the knowledge of Bible doctrine, for holding you back to be for you in the search of frantic happiness rather than looking upon the peace and the joy which could be found only in the knowledge of Bible doctrine. What a life it is without having true light in you. Where is your life without the knowledge of Bible doctrine, dear brother? You can think you can do great things. You can never do great things. Knowledge of Bible doctrine should be number one priority all the time. With the knowledge of Bible doctrine alone, we can truly dig and consider and look upon the word of the Lord. Without that we cannot, without that we cannot even budge an inch, budge a millimeter, far less an inch. And we need to be much accurate in the word of the Lord while teaching because it is his word. And that demands isagogical, categorical and exegetical expression of the word with the right dispensing technique of dispensations without which it is not possible for us to please that great Lord. So dear brethren, which way you want to go, you decide as we shall come back and continue. Monday, since I am going to place to buy some theological books. With our head bowed and eyes closed, the closing movements being dedicated to those who are here without Christ, without hope, without hope and without eternal life. In our ability to link to Lord God the Father, that you believe upon Christ, that is the moment itself, we shall have this eternal truth. This eternal truth for us for very simple, believing Christ, you shall be saved. Whereas for the believer, the great man should grow up in grace and knowledge of Bible doctrine, you shall learn to acquire to possess to know the truth, and the truth shall set you free. And for the pastor teacher, the great man is to carry us lagan, herald the word in season out of season, because of the diamond from my witnesses, where they have been called. Number one, diamond from my witnesses, in dwelling community, followed by people in our hands, and Number two, hearers. If there are no hearers, dear brother, not for you, besides nature, the entire angelic host will be a witnesses. But what is our work? Our work is to rightly divide the word of truth. So which way you want to go, you decide as we shall come back and as we shall come back and continue Monday. Father, we are grateful for the privilege that was given to fellowship through the word. We pray that, Lord, get the Holy Spirit challenges in these things so that, Lord, we could know that you have already cursed the thoughts of all the evil and you have given us some paths which could be opened for us. And only those paths could be opened when we are faithful enough to take in the word of the Lord and study diligently because though the man could be bound, but your word has not been bound. Your word is always free and your word should be, be being sowed freely so that the world could know what is Christian on this earth. For we ask it in Christ's name, Sovereign Lord, enlighten us in these things. Amen.